welcome to Goblin Inc. And as you can see, I'm Ace of Spades, and this is the most fun build in the game. It's really powerful. Many people have pushed up to tier 14 with it, and now I think we can go further. I'm gonna wait until Megalith is level 50, and uh, I'm 13 right now. We'll see how that goes, and we'll see what Blizzard does. Uh, they announced some changes. This build is more powerful than the previous one, but unfortunately, it can only be played by a few lucky guys that have all the uniques. That's why I've made this build after, because very few people are gonna be able to play. Let's go over the abilities and how the build work. The first thing is that this build is very similar to Bulwark builds, as it plays with Nature's Fury, which uh, Fox, uh, Earth, and Storm scales, uh, and we take this because we wanna be using the symbiotic aspect. With the symbiotic aspect, we're gonna be resetting the cooldown of our Earth and Bulwark. This promotes uh, two things. First of all, it promotes survivability because we get uh, defense, a massive amount of defense, but also the Unstoppable gives us the ability of getting a lot of resources back with uh, Tybalt's Will, and uh, that makes the build uh, a lot easier to play. In fact, this build is incredibly face roll. It's kind of weird because, you know, the higher gear requirement uh, makes the build more casual friendly and it's less casual friendly because people can't play it. Titan Senses uh, and Quick Shift provide both incredible amount of damage and also defense. Especially Quick Shift uh, with this build uh, where we spam a lot more abilities uh, is very valuable. We take, of course, full points in Venom, then we take Toxic Flaws and Neurotoxin. We take Trample with uh, full points for Trample, because I like the Fort Spirit. Plus, it also gives us Unstoppable, which will give us, again, resources with Tybalt's Will. Because we play with the Shield, this build is very tanky, meaning that we can play with Tybalt's Will and not a Rare Pants. We take Hurricane, we do not take Ranks in Pets. We take uh, the Britating Roar, and uh, I like the healing, honestly. We take quite a bit of few points in Cyclone Armor, gives us some tankiness. Full points in Earth and Bulwark, with Fortify as our generation, which makes Fortify upkeep really good. Full points in Vigilance and Fortitude, and also 3 points in Iron 4 for 9% more damage reduction. This build is really tanky. We get uh, Digit Grade, we get uh, Predatory Instinct for the crit chance. Only one point in Shred, because that does not increase the Blur Beast damage. But we take three points in Wild Impulses, because Core Skill damage does increase uh, damage to Blur Beast for some reason. One point only in Cloth, this build does not play a basic skill, has no need for it, has zero spirit issues. For the Boons, uh, we take uh, Mazukist, we do not play an Ultimate, and we take uh, Energize which gives us a lot of resources because we have a lot of extra damage procs. Iron Feather with Scythe Talons for the crit chance. We take Worriness for the damage reduction. Let's go over the gear requirement for the build. First of all, first unique, Hunter Zenith. Very important to get the ranks to height and senses for the DR here. Then we take uh, Evolt's Wheel, which needs no introduction, I believe. And we have, of course, uh, last one, the key part of the build, Andaril's Visage, which is how we apply Poison. We do not play Poison Creeper, we apply Poison with Andaril's Visage, making the build really hard to play for most people. Now, I like to play my chest place without uh, any defensive aspect, because I am uh, geared and I'm really tanky, and the only reason I die is when I make a mistake with my debilitating roar against the bosses. Otherwise, uh, usually you don't die with this build, it's really tanky. But if you wanna be 15% more tanky, you can have uh, the werewolf damage reduction aspect here. And not have uh, move speed on your boots, so you can put symbiotic aspect here. I do, my personal taste, prefer the move speed. And I like being a bowler that moves really fast. I got Stormclaw on my gloves. Uh, which, as you can see, also the glows do not have ranks to shred because it does nothing for us. We have willpower instead. The other aspect is, of course, the nature savagery, which allows us with shred to proc nature's fury and to proc symbiotic aspect by spamming shred. But also, it does some interesting things. For example, by using the debilitating roar 
and trample you push enemies away with cyclone because you can activate cyclone with your defensive skill debilitating roar and with trample you can proc boulder pushing enemies away is, is amazing because then you activate shred and blurred beast turning the worst feature in the game the pushback into the best one lastly i take uh, my core skill damage on my amulet you can also use uh, the poison slash lightning damage aspect that they are very similar one is more rng but has a higher ceiling for damage this one is more consistent and then for the last thing we can take a uh, blood beast on our two-handed weapon playing with one-handed weapon if you have a good totem with two defensive stats is also something you can do the two defensive stats 30% more defense if you can get that it's pretty good you lose a little bit of damage but personally I think that killing things fast is the best way to stay safe for our vampire power it's gonna be interesting as we do not play metamorphosis we do not play metamorphosis because uh, we do not want to get unstoppable we want to get unstoppable with uh, perfect bulwark and then if we need more unstoppable we have trample to save our ass Bulwark at only lasting 3 seconds and often last less than that because mobs will hit you meaning that uh, you get a lot more T-Bolt's wheel procs without having to wait the 4 second of metamorphosis we have to play across touch and play on the weak because vulnerability is an incredibly strong damage multiplier even though this could be changed for more defense and today I will test that out and see how it feels we play Ravenous because in this build uh, attack speed is really important. As you can see, I'm blinking around like crazy. That's because uh, of uh, my attack speed. And of course, uh, Sanguine Brace and Flowing Veins. This build, if you are looking, uh, the, w the reason why we play so fast, so quickly, is because uh, pretty much all you have to do is you have to spam your Shred, your Shield, and your Hurricane. Now, if you want... Uh, you can spam it like that uh, by yourself by pressing i have them on three four on my action bar and then i have r and as you can see if you can put your your hands there they're all close together and you can kind of play it like a piano just spam it like that but it's better if you make a macro with your mouse and your keyboard because then you don't get carpal tunnel that's my advice to you and also because the computer is probably gonna be faster than you are let's finish up with the paragon board Paragon board, I made some slight adjustments. Uh, I've added Undaunted for more Fortify in this build. Sorry, damage reduction. Because uh, Keeper is strong, but the damage reduction is, in uh, my opinion, also very strong. And it's 50-50, honestly. And both are really good. I don't know which one is best. The thing is that we do not need the uh, armor. Because I'm already armor capped. Thanks to all the werewolf damage reduction, uh, sorry, werewolf armor we get from the boots and the amulet. Meaning that I do not need uh, more armor and uh, undaunted looks very juicy to me. So I made this change to the paragon board and also I have uh, moved uh, one board uh, here to the right instead of being up top there. I'm doing this to save one point, uh, slightly changed uh, my avatar of Zir setup. Uh, because level 50 is very hard to obtain and I'm gonna do those changes on the Paragon board uh, on the website as well a little bit more magic resistance uh, be magic resistance capped and that's what I've changed on the Paragon board still running 6 glyph with ancestral guidance and heightened malice I believe this board is a work of art it's so min maxed uh, it's disgusting I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for all the people that do not have Andariel. The other build is really strong and uh, you can play that instead if you do not have Andariel. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.